sometimes I think my brain is like like the Bermuda Triangle. Information goes in, but then it's just like never found again. Can we just talk about this gorgeous sweater? Look at the little bell sleeve, so cute. I know I'm gonna be asked, so I'll go ahead and tell you guys. She in. I mean, just honestly, are you surprised? Such a beautiful sweater. I love the neckline too, and I adore this white trim. They even did the same at the bottom. I will link it down below for you guys, but today, Dollar Tree haul time, you know the deal, you know the drill, you know what's up. Was that a lot of yous? But you know what I'm saying, so there it is again. That's like a fourth you. Let's take a break from a lot of the Christmas stuff that I've been hauling lately. Can't help myself, it is my favorite season, and I just adore the process of trying to transform this house into the freaking North Pole, but today is a different Dollar Tree haul it's not gonna have Christmas stuff in it, but a bunch of new stuff that I'm seeing. So let's dive in, because I can't even stand it. Let's actually start with some more Dollar Tree candy. I've already done my most highly requested video, which I've done my Dollar Tree Halloween candy hauls. I'll link both of those down below. I did a part one and a part two, and I even taste tested it. These I'm not gonna taste test on camera, but I picked up some more to fill my bowl up. And I picked up the Scooby-Doo Sour Straws. These I pick up every year, they're not bad. I actually remember the taste of them. I quite like them. I picked up some candy sticks in the Super Hero pack. You can see the individual packages there. Those are gonna be great for Halloween trick-or-treaters. Here is a Scooby-Doo Tom and Jerry and Flintstones. Then I found these. These are not for trick-or-treaters just because they're not individually packaged. But I wanted to show you guys because they're new and they're gumballs. So if you have a gumball machine, here you go. Or it would be a great Christmas gift. I always wanted a gumball machine. I'm talking Christmas again, but you know what I'm saying. These are banana split. What? Brown is chocolate, yellow is banana, pink is strawberry, and white is vanilla. So it tells you right here. Here's another set of gumballs, but these are individually wrapped, so they're gonna be a great filler candy, especially if you have a ton of trick-or-treaters. I've never seen this bag of candy at Dollar Tree before, so it's new to me. You get 65 gumball pieces in here, and you can see in the window that they are individually wrapped. I don't feel like I picked these up for the taste test. Yeah, definitely not. These are peanut butter kisses, and they are in orange they're wrapped in orange and black i picked up some lollipops they've had these for a couple of years and you get pumpkins ghosts frankenstein and a witch's hat so these are really adorable lollipops and then the last thing i got these zombie lollipops they're like zombie fingers and it's time for some more puzzles these have a twist I don't even know what is happening here, but it's two in one puzzles. It's a total of 480 pieces, but you get two puzzles inside and it's mixed obviously to create, I guess that additional challenge, but they are gonna end up being two separate puzzles. So it's not like the image is on both sides. It's literally two separate puzzles. So it will end up looking like that, but all the pieces are combined so then you're gonna have to sort out these pieces and then these pieces. And can we just talk about the prints here? The bakery with the dog, so adorable. And then all the sweets. It doesn't seem to be too challenging. It says 480 total, so half of that for each one. But I still think this is the most unique puzzle idea. I've never even thought about combining two puzzles to make it harder. Um, I don't, Personally, wouldn't do that to myself on 500 or a thousand pieces. No, just hell no. And here is this combo. I love the little cottage. Oh, it just makes me want to go put this together. It'll probably take me a couple minutes because, again, not that many. And then you get the little tea set. And then here's here's so that you can see the tea set a little bit bigger. Love this one. Has a country quality. Just Nantucket, Massachusetts, wherever, Vermont, Maine. It's just kind of the vibe I get from this image. And then you can see barn with all the animals hanging out. It's just so adorable. And this one, oh, love this one too. 
love the train love the sky of it and then this little town looks like a swiss town a little bit but i'm obviously not really sure where the images are from two more to show you oh my gosh here's the cottage again but it's a little bit different and then you get the kitty cat and a bowl of homemade crafts look at that and just to do a side-by-side -side comparison of the two cottages so that you can see love that the cottages are probably my favorite and the very last one is this one all the birds on the white picket fence you know i guess the original american dream funny story i grew up with a picket fence it wasn't white it was just brown but it was a picket fence now we're gonna get into just some random items, some stuff I needed for around the house, new things that I'm seeing, and then some key favorites. I picked up some more of these disposable filter masks. I need these so that I can blow out my dog's undercoat. I have a like blow, blow drying machine that I got off of Amazon. I'll link it down below, it's amazing. They originally go for like three, four, five hundred dollars $500. I got mine for 70 and it gets so much hair off of Loxy, you wouldn't believe it, to be honest. And I need this, so what I do is I wear a hat, I put on glasses, and I wear this because that blow dryer is has some, some power. So it is really pushing that hair that a brush can't do. Like it just, you you wouldn't imagine what kind of hair is caught, like dead hair, I guess, that's caught in your dog's undercoat that needs to come out. But I have to wear these so that all that hair isn't like going in my mouth, up my nose, and they, it would get in my eyes. So I had to start wearing sunglasses. So it really does help. So I get these for that. I just picked up some more uh, gloves, you know, to clean around, clean around the house. I got some batteries. Here's another pack. I recently purchased a couple of t-shirts from Dollar Tree and showed you guys in a haul not too long ago. I got a white t-shirt and a black t-shirt and then I threw them in the washing machine after, you know, I showed them to you guys and then I've worn both of them and I love them. I'm a sucker for wearing basics a lot. It's just one of my go-to looks. So I like just the neutrals, the whites, the blacks, the navy. And so I went back and I was like, I got to get dupes of these white, this white and black shirt. So I got a white, another white one. So here it is. It's just very basic. Some of them, t-shirt. They didn't have black, but I went with the next best thing and got a navy. So picked up another good shirt. All right, so I told you guys that I ate the entire bag of Kit Kats, which really actually happened within three days. Um, and I was supposed to have used it for trick-or-treaters. Then one of you mentioned something about white chocolate Kit Kats and I said, all right, here's an item that I hauled a very long time ago, but I bought it again and it is just dog waste bags. Um, I needed to stock up on them again, but I have to tell you guys, I'm giving you rave reviews on these because before I would purchase like the blue bags that had like the paw prints on it from Dollar Tree, those bags were really sketchy and very thin, very poor quality. They would just have holes in them. These black bags are so, so good. And I just wanted to give you guys my review. I found a new hand soap. Look how big this is. This is Klar and Danver, which is interesting because this same brand is at Dollar Tree, but the label is different on here. So it's just interesting to see a completely different label. Apple Fields, I love apples. Liquid hand soap with vitamin E, cleanses and moisturizes. Yeah, it smells really good too. Oh yeah, it smells like apple fields. It, re it really, really does. It's just a beautiful smell. So you guys know that I did a care package, or did you know? I did a care package for my daughter and I sent her shower fizzies that I had recently bought from Dollar Tree. Now I have read comments saying that you did not, some of you did not think the quality was great, that they really didn't put off any sort of smell and they just kind of disintegrated really quickly. Um, so, but I, I went ahead and bought them because I want to try them out for myself because I gifted the shower fizzies to my daughter and her roommate. So I haven't even asked her if she's used it or not, but I really was intrigued by these. So I want to try them for myself. So, and these are aromatherapy shower fizzies, four to a pack, eucal eucalyptus and spearmint. 
the bottom. Then I found these new magnetic boxes in pink. Dollar Tree for years has been putting out that metallic silver. They've done it in multiple sizes. People have DIY'd these as spices. You put your spices in it, tack it to your fridge. It looks really cute and very modern. Um, you could put, you know, these in your office, put paper clips and thumbtacks, and then just if you have like a cabinet kind of thing at work, but they've never come out with any other colors. Look at this pink. I only saw the pink, but I wanted to show you guys maybe more new stuff to come. I found some new barrettes. I've been really into barrettes lately. I hauled a bunch. I hauled one package of 12 from Amazon that I really love. And I thought these were really beautiful quality. I saw them in silver and maybe in white. I forget what the third color was, but I love gold accessories. I picked up a tube of white paint for some crafts. I found some new makeup. I'm very excited about this. This is the LA Colors Contour Stick. Ta -da! I've never used a cream type of contour or bronzer and I want to because I've been feeling like my face is looking a little over powdery so I want to give a contour stick a try. Found some glitter glosses also by LA Colors. Look at those colors. These are more summertime colors for me but this one is really oh my gosh this one's gorgeous. Princess Vibes is the one I just showed you. This one is called Gypsy Gems. And you know I love this one because it's got a peach quality to it. And peach is my favorite color. I love it for eyes, lips, blush, like all of it. The next three products, I think two are new and one isn't. But I wanted to haul this and try this for myself because it's looking like a dupe for the apricot scrub. And it's even calling it that, the apricot scrub apricot scrub exfoliates for smoother healthier looking skin for all skin types i'm going to do a comparison of the ingredients on the back and compare it to the name brand version i forget what their their brand is called but the apricot scrub i've been using since i was a very young mom in my early 20s so i want to give the one at dollar tree a go and then dollar tree did this The hell? This is a facial cleansing brush for a dollar. A dollar. Battery operated, it removes dirt, oil, makeup, gently exfoliates, unclogs pores, that whole thing. It does require two AA batteries that's not included, hence my batteries. I'm gonna give this a go. It also came in other colors, which is like a dupe to the Vanity Planet, which I have. What color do I have? Do I have pink, do I have blue, purple? I don't know, but my daughter has one too. The Vanity Planet actually runs amazing deals and I used a code from like OK Baby or KK Baby J and I got mine for like 20 bucks, but they're a dollar at Dollar Tree. I mean, these are gonna be great stocking stuffers. I'm just saying. That's if the quality is up to par. I obviously haven't tried it enough to know, but you know what I'm saying. All right, this next one is really interesting. This is a soothing oatmeal bath treatment. It's 100% natural and it's comparable to the Aveeno active ingredients. And this can give you relief in poison ivy oak sumac, sumac, I'm sorry if I'm not saying that right, eczema, insect bites, sunburn, and it's fragrance free. I thought of these for my daughter. Unfortunately, this is a bath treatment. She doesn't have a bath, but when she comes home, I'll have these in her bathroom. And the very last things are going to just be pieces of so, oh, the cutest little jewelry boxes you ever could see. But Dollar Tree actually did something like this very similar, and it might actually be an exact replica, and I've just hauled the same thing. But they did versions of these in a macaroons, but this is looking, this is shaped slightly different, I think. I don't know, my memory. I told you, the Bermuda Triangle. And then when you open it, it looks like this. Love these. This would be a cute idea for a stocking stuffer or a birthday gift or just whatever. You can put, you can gift this and then put maybe a pair of earrings, you know, and it would be a really cute gift. You know, if you, especially if you're a mom, you would have to think of gifts for your daughter and her friends or her birth, you know, their friend's birthday or something. This would be something very inexpensive. You go pick up one of these 
you know, enough variety to probably find a color that the recipient loves and they're just really adorable. And then the center has a heart. That's it for today's video. I'm feeling a little awkward, so I'm not even gonna do an outro. And so there's that.